Hey folks, I'm Digger Melkhorn. I got some great news. I got some new rods in the mail. And you know who they're from? The folks at Big Cat Fever. These are the white ones, the ones I've been waiting for. Uh, they're a medium action rod, pretty much the same as the medium heavies that I've been fishing with, except they're white. Uh, length of the rod is the same. Components are very similar. The reel seat's a little bit nicer. It's been upgraded some. Overall, it's a really great rod, and I'm putting it to the test. I've got about three trips on the water with it so far, trying it out on some fish. And so far, it's turning out to be a pretty impressive rod. All right, hooked up on my first fish on these new Big Cat Fever rods. Don't notice they're white. <laughs> white Big Cat Fever rods. I love it. Great for night fishing. They're actually a medium action, a little bit lighter than what I've been fishing. Which is great here lately because we're starting to get into a tremendous channel cat bite. The bigger rod's a little bit of overkill for them. But honestly, reservoir fishing, like I do most of the time, the medium action rods, all you need, period. Nice action on the lower end of this rod. Good flex at the tip. Very forgiving. Very forgiving. Feels good so far. Nice fish. Decent fish. Decent fish to start out trying this rod out on for sure. <laughs> this is a good start. Ah, there he is. Fish. Oh, yeah, well into the teens. Easy girl. Well into the teens. Good one. If you fish lakes and reservoirs, any area where you are not needing a lot of heavy action for river currents, slinging a lot of weight, this is probably the rod you want to go with. This one got a fish on it. Ah, does have a fish. Nice. Did get hooked up. I'll say this about these rods. These are not flimsy by any stretch of the imagination. That may be a decent fish. I think it may be about like the last one. Let's see some bow in that sucker this time. Nice. It's up near the top. Not a huge one. We'll take it. fish Ooh, bigger than I thought oh way bigger than I thought bigger than I thought where have you heard me say that before very good fish right there He is good fish. Good one. If all I fished was lakes and reservoirs, this would probably be the only rod that I own. It's a great rod. If you're looking at getting a new rod and you fish lakes and reservoirs, or if you're fishing in areas that have smaller fish where you're catching channel cats, blues up to 10, 15 pounds, this is probably a really good rod to go with. Boom, hooked up, hooked up. Rod dance. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Mm -mm. Get down tonight. Mm -mm. Woo! Guy from the points looking at me like, what's that guy doing? I was having a good time living the dream. 
a dinka, a little dinka. Man, that sucker. This old cat's been through the ringer this spring. Poor fella. Look at, Look at that body. He's been through it. The other great thing is the rods are white. So any of you nighttime fishermen know that having white rods really helps with seeing those rods when you got them scattered around the boat in dim light. What's cool is the paint job on them is like a matte finish. It's not the shiny, glossy finish like on most rods that you're used to seeing. So I think it's pretty cool and I think you really like it. Well, if you want to order one of these rods or any of the other rods that Catch the Fever makes, just go to catchthefever.com and you can look at all the products that they offer. Now, if you're in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, around Columbia, South Carolina, contact Jamie K Outdoors. They have a good selection of Big Cat Fever rods. They're located in Fort Lawn, and it will probably help you save some money on shipping.